And oh, the the, the raptor pack does not like Indominus Rex. Oh, and he's not faring too well here. They're just clinging on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. Why? Because this video took over two hours to set up? Well, maybe. And in the end, I'm not really going to do it all. So, basically, what we're going to look at today is the biggest carnivores in the game and how they take down prey. This being Spinosaurus, Carcharodonosaurus, Giga... T-Rex, Indominus Rex, Indoraptor. I originally set this up to view all of the dinosaurs and how the, all the carnivores attack each other. However, I've just spent 15 minutes trying to see the uh, Bionics kill dinosaurs and it's only killed two out of four. And if I was to do this for every carnivore, this video would be like five hours long. So we're not going to do that. So what we are going to do is jump in straight away with one of the fan favorites, that big freaking spider. Oh, I have never seen this. Oh, in game before. Oh, wow. Oh, gorgeous. So what we've done is we've, or I've put in a small herbivore, uh, like, like a homalocephale, then a struthiomimus, a hadrosaur, and then something that can fight back. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I'm expecting this Spinosaur to not really have a problem taking on any of these prey items and he can just kind of pick whatever it chooses. But look at that model. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, when we saw this in the video, uh, the Frontier posted in the dev update thing, I don't know what they've done. It's definitely different to the one in Evolution. It's chonkier, I think. Oh, God. I think the Baronix has decided to kill something else. So ignore that. I want to see this thing try and kill something. It has a plethora of choices. And what Frontier have amazingly done is spent what seems to be in Jurassic World Evolution 2, more time spent on Dr. Wu, go away, damn it. Oh, there you go. And it sits. So, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2, or at least Frontier, have put in a lot more effort in the dinosaur department, in the animations. So it almost feels like every, you know, carnivore or even every dinosaur itself has their own unique animations, uh, whether that's a Struthiomimus or an Archaeonophimimus, um, when they're interacting with each other. I don't think I've ever seen an animation repeated from different species. Uh, the way a two Metrocanthosaurus interact with each other looks completely different to how two Cryolophosauruses interact with each other. So, oh God, this is a, is, is a Homalocephaly gonna die here? No. All right, we've got a hunt. Oh, the Homalocephaly. Oh, eaten. Dang. <laughs> Straight away, just one bite and completely gone. It's kind of what I was expecting. Oh, it's gonna poop it out now. You know when the carnivore decides to kill something because it stops walking around and sprints towards it. I like the, what they've done here. It makes every carnivore feel more real. Uh, you know, in evolution, the first one, if a carnivore was with a herbivore, it would just make a beeline to it and kill it. Um, or at least it felt that way. Whereas this one, they, they kind of cohabit to an extent. And now it looks like he's actually going to go and attack something. Oh! Oh! It's almost quadruped there. Oh, bless. The Styracosaurus being reluctantly brought into the battle, I think. <laughs> Look at the spine. Like, <laughs> yeah! I'm going to eat you. So the reason why Styra I think I maybe I mentioned this or was it the other video? I don't know. Styracosaurus is one of the Ceratopsids with the lowest health. Uh, an, an attack and defense stat, so... Uh, yeah, I was expecting that to happen. Oh, of course! Spinosaur wants to fight, it loves it! Don't know what's going on with the uh, Styracosaurus's body there, but hey, look! The Spinosaur's actually going on the floor with its front limbs! I love it! Little attention to detail like that. They would never have done that in evolution. But I like that Frontier are now being, you know, a bit more forward thinking with paleontological finds, maybe. Maybe that's why they're doing it. Or they just thought, hey, people want it. Let's do it. Gum, gum, gum. Okay, it's charging. It's going for something. I don't know what. I think it's a Struthiomimus. Oh, oh, I think so. I think I think it's it's definitely trying to. It's it's trying to make contact. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, lovely. A little bit of shake and a kill. Gorgeous. <laughs> I love that. I love the way it just like daintily like puts one claw down, you know, balancing its weight on that. Oh, it's like an a IK hand. It's like, yes, stuck to the ground. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, there's only one left, Mr. Spino, and you've eaten everything. Here we go. The takedown comes. Oh, here it comes. Oh, take, oh, throws it. Ah, that's more like evolution. There we go. I think that was similar to the the first trailer, um, the way the T-Rex in Evolution like picked up the power and just threw it from one side to the other. A gorgeous kill from the Spino. Now onto something else. The Big Mama Jama herself. The one, the only. Rexy, yes. Ho, 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 ho. So with these guys, I've sort of let them have bad traits, so they're more dominant, they're, they're more likely to be hungry. So I'm hoping that means that, you know, they, they eat more, basically. Even people who don't know the difference between herbivore and carnivore know all about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. And when you see her up close, feel her gaze, you, you fall in love. T-Rex was the ruler of the Cretaceous period. Right, we've got Edmontosaurus in here for you to eat, Rexy. I think I think it's called over the Styracosaurus. <laughs> oh, bless it. Yep. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, here we go. Not expecting this guy to last two seconds and straight out, just like it was with uh, what you might call it, uh, the Spino. Didn't last more than two seconds. So we've got to take it away before it has a chance to eat it. Even though it, it definitely has had a chance to eat it. Damn it. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, it's going over the homalocephaly. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, the leggy stuck out. Well, there you go. I guess it realized its food was being taken away and went for the small burger. <laughs> it can still see you. You're not hiding behind the tree, you know. Right, that was two kills in quick succession. Maybe we'll get the rest. Bonus round. Spinosaur eating goat. Oh, wow, even that's a unique animation. Nice. I was going to say, your health is dropping. You need to kill something. And she has chosen to hunt down a Struthiomimus. It's like, run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh, it jumped. Oh, that looked amazing. <laughs> Damn. All right, hold on quickly. We need to take away the food. Take away the food. You must stay hungry. You must eat an Edmonto burger. No, no food for you. <laughs> I kind of looked up like. Yeah, I still think that the carnivores need to wait for the herbivores to be not sleeping or anything like that. Yeah, they need to be running like that. And once they're up, then the carnivores can go and attack. All right, here we go, Edmontosaurus. Can you survive, Rexy? Oh, I don't know. Whoa, and thrown again. Oh, okay, so maybe that animation is similar. It definitely looked like the Struthiomimus animation was different, the way it just sort of jumped on it. Um, but that looked very similar to the Spinosaurus, like, throwing it to the other side. Maybe a slight difference, but... Eh, eh. You know what, Rexy? You've earned that. There you go. You've earned your goat. You show me all your beautiful animations, you get a goat. Right, time for the next big boy. Acrocanthosaurus. Lovely. Ooh, interesting call. Oh, yes. Looks very similar to how it did in Jurassic World Evolution. I can't really see too much of a difference. Not that I, I'd really be able to find it if I'm looking, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Maybe the... Probably the skin's got more detail. The model itself might be very similar, but the, the skin on top of it looks different. Its teeth look different, actually. Wow, okay. Oh, the Acrocanthosaurus is challenging the uh, Chasmosaur again. This is going to be a battle that's going to last all of two seconds, I think. And <laughs> well, there you have it. I think we pretty much found out how those two battles go, or basically how a battle with a giant carnivore and a Ceratopsian goes, when the Ceratopsian loses, it's just like a lunge, bites, and then the Ceratopsian falls over. We're gonna have to take away your din-dins, because we want to see you kill everything else. No. It even, like, sits differently to the T-Rex. Like, the T-Rex is more low, but this Acrocanthosaurus is quite high when it sits down. So it sits up like that. 
or is Tyrex is quite low. I think anyway. It might have the same head rub animation, I'm not sure. We'll definitely be able to see if it's the same kind of animation set, depending on how it goes for the Ornithomimus, or, you know, the Struthomimus, I should say. Because the T-Rex did a very iconic, like, jump to the uh, Struthomimus, so we'll see if that's mimicked in the Acrocanthosaurus. Well, we're about to see an Edohomalocephale, anyway. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk very slowly away, and you might survive. Uh, or not. I, I, yeah, I'll just sit. <laughs> <What? laughs> you just had to wait for it to get so far away. Oh. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, the herbivores like that corner. Do they think it's safe? Let's see. Is it going to jump on it? Oh, it got stuck there. Here we go, sidestepping away. Here it comes. Is it gonna do the same kind of kill as the T-Rex? Oh, let's see. It's, oh, the Street of Ibis is just too quick. Oh, yes, it's a T-Rex. Yeah, it's the T-Rex animation. That kind of jump. Yeah, definitely. Oh, here we go. Now, is it gonna throw the Edmontosaurus from the other side? Let's see. Oh, I think, is it gonna be able to do it here? Oh, the I love the animation, and then... We are! Fire! Yeah, yeah. Looks like most big carnivores that I've seen... Uh, maybe a Dominus might be different. They all have the same kill animations for the Edmontosaurus. And your prize? A goat, good sir. There you go. On to the next apex predator. And that is... Kaka! <laughs> this has become a meme in recent, year, recent years for me. <laughs> I want one. Oh, awesome call, though. Nice. Oh, look at it there. It, I've, you know what it is? I've never liked the car car design. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is about it. I just don't. It doesn't do it for me. And I don't, like I said, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know whether it's the weird spikes that go down the back that are all higgledy-piggledy. I don't know if it's the shape of the head. Maybe that's the way Karkar's head did look. Whoa, still got a good roar on it though. The sound effects for it are really good. I do like it. It just, I don't know, something about it. Like it, it's, it's torso's a bit too long. It's the tail, is it? I don't know. Maybe maybe, it, maybe that's the way it looked, but hey ho. Oh, this this guy might have a different animation, because he's because he's a lot longer. We'll have a look. That'll be interesting. Because I'm assuming if it's going to share any kind of animations, it would probably be with Giga. Okay, here we go. We, it's going for something. Oh God, it's the Homalocephalus. Why is it always the first to go? Oh bless it. It never stands a chance. Although saying that, no, I gotta admit, sometimes it is the uh, the ceratopsid that dies first. No, oh, what was that? It sounded like a door hinge. <laughs> well, we're gonna see Styracosaurus die again. Are you ready? And oh, we got oh, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a foot stamp. Oh, okay, okay. While the Styracosaurus gets into into position. Oh, we okay? We feeling all right? Yes. Oh, oh, never mind. The Styracosaurus decided they called it quits. Oh, hold on. The, the, the car car's doing some weird glitch. And it, it, well, here we go. And it's the same kill. Okay, maybe all big carnivores have that. <laughs> I love the way that it was like, and I'm going backwards. Obviously, that was because it had some weird glitch with the Styracosaurus there. How are you going to kill it? You're going to jump over it? What are you going to do? Oh, it is the lunge. Okay, I thought that was just going to be unique to the T-Rex. Ah, turns out it's not. So I'm going to hazard a guess that Giga is probably also going to have the same kind of animation. But you know what? There you go. All right. It's the one that's going to be in the movie. That's right. It is the Giga. Which actually hasn't had a redesign. So I'm really interested in what they're going to do when Dominion comes out. Oh, it looks so good. People often confuse this animal, the Giganotosaurus, with the T-Rex. I guess we could look similar. You know what, Owen, I'll let, I'll let you play. And both have that eat everything within their field of vision thing working for them. Ooh. This dinosaur is also fast. Bottom line, if you find yourself running from this biggie, 
You've already made a fatal mistake. Well, you say that, and yet Claire ran away from a T-Rex, so... <laughs> in high heels? So I'm pretty sure if she just put on some, you know, some regular trainers, she'd be all right running away from this thing. Oh, I was just about to say, who is the Giga gonna go for first? And it's always blessed, the little homalocephaly. Shovel Chin gets the kill. Now, it might be that these dinosaurs share all the same animations, but maybe it's that every dinosaur has a different kill animation. So the Giga has a different kill animation for the Cretosaur and the Edmontosaur, like the same, maybe the Struthamimus and the Archaeornithomimus. Huh, that might be something to test out. So I put a Gallimimus in and we'll see when I release it if the Giga has a different kill animation. But if it still does the jump after it like it did with the Struthamimus, we know that it's an animation set rather than a specific dinosaur. <laughs> All right, calm down. It's only a Styracosaurus, you're going to easily kill it. Watch. Bam! The Gallimimus. It's, it's interesting because every time I think so far we've seen, you know, the carnivore decide what to eat. I feel like it's always left the hadrosaur to last and i'm not too sure why that is it, maybe they just don't like hadrosaurs they always seem to either go for the battle with the ceratopsid because maybe they're more aggressive or the easy little pickings of the homalocephali but they don't go for the biggest meal first which would be this carithosaurus oh of course to prove me wrong you go for the carithosaurus now yes <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless it. The green sword just has to... Is it gonna... Oh, oh, it's so weird. I mean, here we go. It's gonna throw it. And there you have it. And roll. Yeah. I feel like if a Giga really did pick up a Carithosaurus by its neck like that, it would probably rip its head off. <laughs> it wouldn't just throw it. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if Jurassic World Evolution 2 had animation like that, literally ripping heads off dinosaurs? Oh, that'd be so good. All right, is it going to go for the jump? And it does. Okay, yeah. So you've got types of animation. You've got like the Struthiomimus animation. You've got the Hadrosaur kill animation. Okay, right. We've got, we've nipped that in the bud. We know how that works. Now the one I've been waiting for for so long. The one that definitely will have unique animations. The friggin' Indominus Rex. Oh, I like the way it comes out. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. Gorgeous. Go on, Woo. Tell me what about has, Indominus. The Indominus Rex remains my most inspired creation. Oh, wow. Oh, it's going for a kill already. Oh, God. Oh, no. Hello. Why? To do so required a tremendous amount of research, gene mixing, splicing and manipulation, and, of course, determination. The wow. end result is a hybrid dinosaur that is both beautiful and deadly. An alpha predator among alpha predators. So treat it with the care and respect it deserves. Oh, this is cool. I've never... Well, I, I've made... Of course, I had to make an Indominus in order to unlock it, but I deliberately stayed away from it because I was wanting to save it. Is it calling over the Styracosaurus? See, what are you doing? It's okay. It's roaming apparently, but it seems to be steady. More threat, cohabitation limit. That's good. And it hates everything. <laughs> it dislikes everything. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I th oh, will it have a different animation? Nah. Okay. Okay. It it seemed like it did, but I don't think it did. Oh, is it going camo there? Oh, it's camouflaging with the grass. It's changed to brown. It's doing a weird run, though. Oh, that was cool. Oh, <laughs> oh it's changing again. Oh, my God. It's, it's going after everything. Oh, oh. Wow, there you go. <gasps> Hold on, we need to put a goat in here. I want to see how it eats a goat. Heck yeah. There you go. Have a go already. You know what? This is one of the only carnivores that I think will definitely go and kill everything without eating it because it's an Indominus Rex. So I want to see all it's do. Oh, it's going for this truthy as well. Oh, oh the claws. The little, like, raspy claws there. Oh, that's right. Yes. 
sit on your kill, be proud. Wow, you are freaking deadly. I mean, you saw. I mean, maybe you didn't. I cut a lot of the uh, the in-betweens out. But most carnivores take a while. Like, they only hunt, you know, or eat when they're hungry. Whereas this Indominus Rex basically just came into this enclosure and killed everything. You know what it needs? I want to see what it does to an ankylosaur. We ha it has to have a unique animation to ankylosaur. Surely, let's have a look at it. Oh, oh, uh, oh, it's going after a goat. It's going after the goat. Oh, oh lovely jubbly. <laughs> I love the claws, me. All right, out of curiosity, I've released a weird dinosaur, the Amargosaur. You know, something, it's a sauropod. It's quite small, though. <laughs> All right. I'm not expecting this little chunk to last long. Already the end. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, thrown backwards and ripped apart. <laughs> I think Indominus Rex and Jossel World Evolution did a similar thing. I think most carnivores grabbed it by the tail and flung it back. Not a Margasaur, because that didn't exist. But something like, um, what's it called? It was the uh, Nigosaurus. That's it. All right, here we go. Camarasaurus. I love how the Indominus Rex just slowly turns around like, yeah, I see you. You're going to be on the ground in a second. Bless the goat. Okay, so let's see. How is the Indominus Rex? Oh, God. Oh, oh, the Camarasaurus stomping. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was interesting. Oh, however, here comes the kill. <laughs> oh, God, there it is. Bite of the tail. Oh, it's taking the front foot. Is it dead or did it just do damage? I think it just did some damage. Uh, oh, its health is going down. Interesting. I don't think that is an ailment, but its its health has is slowly going down. Interesting, interesting. All right, one I'm interested in. Now we know if you watch Jurassic World, Indominus Rex, the way it interacts with raptors is interesting. So, how about a Velociraptor? Now I think in the Velociraptor's uh, little bio it says it likes Indominus Rex, but let's see. Oh, 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 is it going after the goat? Oh god, it must be panicking. It is. It is panicking. Okay, it likes Indominus Rex there. Maybe it just doesn't like Camarasaurus. Oh, God. Indominus Rex going for another bite. Whoa! I think it's just going to take nibbles out of it until it dies. Yeah, I think this is how it's going to go. <laughs> oh, bless it. Oh, it's so sad. Indominus Rex could literally jump on it, right? And it would just, like, its rigs, its rigs, its ribs would shatter but its spine would be split. It would just die. And Indominus Rex just full speed head charged it. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Yeah, he's on low health now. But the Indominus Rex is not letting up. Look at it. It's it's making eye contact. It's looking at it in the eyes. Wow, this is so cool. Ooh. But I love the little interaction of the Camarasaurus as well. Like, it's stomping, you know. It can't do much, but it, it bless it, it's trying. It really doesn't stop. I feel so bad. They're not real, James. They're not real, but I feel bad for it. Why do I do this? Oh, my God. This is awesome, though. Oh, it's... Oh, 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 oh. There you go. And it's gone. And it's gone. The raptor is panicking and lonely, but it says it likes Indominus Rex. So I'm, I'm really not sure about that. However, Indominus Rex, I'm pretty sure, just dislikes everything. And even the raptor, it's like, I, it doesn't like it. So maybe if the raptor had enough group, then it would go for it. I don't know. If we actually had a raptor pack. We'll see if the, these guys do anything first. Oh, it's the moment we've been waiting for. If there's going to be anything that has a unique animation to Indominus Rex... That we know of, or at least it should do, it is Ankylosaur. Now, if you remember in, in you know, the first one, it fought it like everything else. I pray that Frontier have taken a note out of JPOG's book and have made unique animations. Let's see. Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh, well, it's, it's off. It looks like it's actually charging towards the uh, Velociraptor. It's not going to punch it across the field, is it? Oh, 
Oh, Indominus Rex. Oh. Oh, they're going to have a regular fight? Please. I'd love if Indominus Rex flipped it over. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. We've got some weird glitching out on the snow there. Again, this game's not released yet. And even since I've downloaded the game, they've added patches. Or at least I've downloaded updates for it. So they're definitely working on it as it's still going out. So let's see. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, bless his little ma. <laughs> Mama, no. Oh, <laughs> the club tail has done... Oh, it did some damage. Okay, I was going to say, it didn't look like it did anything. Yeah, they're, they're giving up the, the battle there, but the uh, it seems like even though the Indominus Rex got clubbed pretty hard there, it's the um, it's this guy that's come off the worst. 69% and you're on 90%. Okay, Ankylosaur has healed from its wounds. It's on 95. Indominus Rex is also on... Oh, yes! Oh! Oh my god! It actually kind of did it! That was sweet! It sort of knocked it over and killed it! It's like it freaking learned! Oh my god, that was beautiful! It could be possible that maybe Indominus Rex or and all the other big carnivores kill Ankylosaur like that, but I'd like to think it's, it's unique to Indominus. Ooh, a roar? But are they... Are they going to be okay with each other? Yeah, I think they are. But I do want to see what happens or how the Indominus Rex eats out of the feeder. Because we've seen it eat a goat, but I've never seen it eat out of this feeder. Aha! Gotcha! You. Just going to eat it like a regular, regular dinosaur? Not going to pick it up with the claws or anything? Nope. He's just chomping away. Here comes the test. What happens if we introduce a pack of raptors? One gets on with Indominus Rex. What about four? Yeah, including the other one. I guess that makes five. Now, I know the raptors take on T-Rex, which is really cool. And maybe they take on other big carnivores. But it does say that they get on with Indominus Rex. So will a pack of raptors get on with Indominus Rex? Yep, yep. They all get on. So that means we have one apex predator left. And of course, that is the one, the only Indoraptor. You can't... You you're supposed to wait for me to say the name, then you come out, damn it! This is a dinosaur created with a purpose. Money! You can see in the dark and uses echolocation to find its prey. Oh, here we go. Now, nature might eventually. Oh, the Homalo again! Raptor, but I got there first. Ooh. Is it dangerous? Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, no! And so is science. Bless! Oh, that was so sad. It's so small. Do you have to rip its neck? Ooh. Interruptor actually standing up. Yes. We never saw that in evolution. It was always, you know, looking like this. But it's very capable of just standing up with a tiny legs, like a power wood or something like that. Oh, it's having a fight with the Kaz. Now, let's see how this guy works. Okay, Velociraptors are fighting each other. That's different. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just killed it. I like that. And it's going off for something else. I think it's the Struthiomimus it's after. It's making a beeline for it. Here it comes. It's, oh, it gave it a little artful dodges. I think it worked. It kind of confused them. Although it didn't work for long. Interruptor in hot pursuit. Oh, and Monosaurus almost took it out there. Jeez. Oh, I don't know if it's going to it's gonna see it coming. No, no. And, oh, there you go. Oh. Sort of crack the neck and let the body slide. Let the body hit the floor. <laughs> okay, what are you going to go for now? Is the goat or the Edmontosaurus? They're both running the same way. However, uh, oh, oh, it's the goat. It throws it down, yeah. And then it looks up a little bit like, no. Oh, and then, oh, God, look. Oh. Okay, so these animations, oh, look at that. The coloring on it looks awesome. I love it. Um... Yeah, that's the same animation as we've seen in Evolution. I'm sorry, I just, I'm still kind of geeking about the uh, the Indominus Rex camouflaging in the different app, like climates. Like it changed when it was in a desert. So I wonder if I put snow in the Indominus Rex enclosure, if it would camouflage to white. Oh, 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 never mind. Oh, the, the, the Raptor Pack does not like Indominus Rex. Oh, and he's not faring too well here. They're just clinging on. Oh, this is how it should have went. 
Indominus Rex would- Oh, it's- Oh, it's gone- It's gone gray? Is that to fit in with the snow? Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it depends on the map. Indominus Rex not looking too healthy here. I- I do Oh! The, the raptors just still going for it. The Indominus Rex battered and beaten. Oh, is that it? Oh, down it goes! Oh, that looked so good. <laughs> okay, so... I don't know what started that. Maybe the Indominus Rex killed one of them, but one, two, three, four, five. No, they're all there. Oh, well, at least we get to see the uh, Indoraptor killer go now, I suppose. Oh, no, wait. No, you've already seen that. They're actually roaring at each other? You are kidding me. And then Montasaurus being defensive? Color me impressed. <laughs> oh, never mind. It didn't work for long. He was kind of like, all oh, right, all right. Psych! <laughs> oh no, you're facing the wrong way! Oh, that's great, you confused them. The enclosure's too small. Oh, it looks like it was attacked, but I don't think it was. Oh, the Edmontosaurus. Oh, it doesn't know. Oh, it's confused it again! Can the Indoraptor even catch up to it? Oh, yep, here we go. Now it's got it. Ah! Wow! Gorgeous. We've seen... A lot of different, you know, kind of interactions between the dinosaurs. But what happens when two giants come face to face? And uh, no, not Camarasaurus. Ah, look at them. Old friends coming back to see each other. A T-Rex and a Spino. Oh, look. They get on. They sat together. Amazing. I'm sure they won't fight each other or anything like that. Oh, I'm excited. Please, I really wish they made, like, a unique kill animation for these two guys. They've got so much hist <laughs> history. History together. Oh, 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 oh. That was a hard hit on the side from the T-Rex. Oh, it's the dancing. They're doing some dancing. Okay. Looks like Spinosaur won that one. Wow. Okay. Now, it does appear to be the case of they do one battle, and then the next battle settles it. So I'm assuming the T-Rex is not going to win this one. But let's see how the Spino finishes it. Or not. Or not. Nope. Nope. Just, just telling each other off. Kind of reminds me when I was a kid and I watched Jurassic Park 3 in the cinemas. And I realized, I, or I didn't realize, I should say, that I was standing up when the fight came on. <laughs> when, try, when Spinosaur took on T-Rex, I, I lost myself. And then when the fight was over, I was like, I'm standing up. <laughs> it just had that kind of power over me. Oh, here it is. The final battle. T-Rex v Spino. I feel like Spano's going to win it, but how? How is the question? How will it be decided? A little bit of a circle, a little bit of a dance, and then... Oh, it's not right away. Okay, Spino having to go for another hit. Oh, T-Rex also going for another hit, and another dance. Okay, but how is it going to end? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Spino's scaring it away. Now the T-Rex is looking utterly worn and battered and bruised. Spino's showing a little bit of damage, but not, not as much as the T-Rex. Are they going to finish it now? Wait, did, did the T-Rex just die? The T-Rex just popped and died! There was no big kill, there was no nothing, it just died like that? Oh, what a disappointment that was! I will admit, Spinosaur looks cooler than T-Rex here. <laughs> Hello, Editing James here, throwing in a, a kill that the Spinosaur made on the T-Rex because I thought that the one we recorded wasn't that great. And there does seem to be like a specific animation for it killing it. Uh, I also am going to throw footage of a modified T-Rex with strong, 30% strong ability, taking out that same exact Spinosaur. Um, whereas everything else looks the same. Uh, at the end, when the T-Rex does kill the Spino, it's, of course, like the original one we've came to see. But anyway, enjoy! All right, Indoraptor versus the pack of raptors that managed to kill Indominus Rex. Now, will they attack in a pack, or will it be one by one? Oh, I don't know where he's going. Oh, but we seem to have a one-on-one -on -one fight here, or at least they're, they're sort of eyeing each other up. I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, oh... No? Oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> what 
just happened? 92 attack, 42 defense. 60 attack, 16 defense. Was that all of them? Yeah, all of them had the same attack. And they just killed Indoraptor like that. I'm lost. I'm... 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 Crestfallen. <laughs> well, there's only one thing left to do. The two winners... Uh, apparently, Spinosaur and the, the one raptor that killed Indoraptor. Really? How did Blue have so much trouble when these generic raptors could just kill him instantly, even when the stats don't give it? Maybe it was cumulative. Maybe they were like, okay, well, there's five times five by 60. There you go. It's actually 300 attack. Oh, God. Oh, they're going for him already. Whoa, Jesus. No wasting any time. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Oh, God. There's just too many of them. There's, there's one, two, three. There's four of them taking them on. Spino rolls over, cripples a raptor, but it does get back up. Is it, so, Max maybe is four? Four, four in a pack. Oh, and Spino goes down. <laughs> Nothing can stop a freaking pack of raptors. They're the most deadliest things in the world, apparently. And do they take any damage? 100%. 100%. 100%. love <laughs> just running around. And now they're attacking each other, because why not? Or they're doing a synchronized ballet of sorts there. All right. Interruptor didn't really go out how I think it should have. So how about we, you know, do the biggest, you know, the contenders for what could be, you know, the, the winners of another battle um, arena. Indoraptor versus Indominus Rex. Oh, wow, a jump kick. Oh, the phone, that's illegal. Oh, God, are we going to get... Oh, a bite from Indominus Rex there. Oh, oh another jump kick from Indoraptor, though. Who's going to win it? I actually don't know. Oh, well, maybe in, not Indominus Rex. Oh, ooh. So that must be his attack. He sort of cuts off Indoraptor. Oh, and Indominus Rex actually runs away scared. Indoraptor wins. Oh, this is going to be it. This could be at the final battle. It really doesn't look like Indominus Rex's wounds have healed. Oh, 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 <laughs> teleporting Indoraptor. <laughs> okay, that was a weird glitch, but I think... That was showing us Indoraptor's, like, regular kill animation from Jurassic World Evolution, where it sort of hops over the back and then, like, rips out, rips at its, like, neck area. Um, but it just kind of glitched out a bit, a bit funky there, but... All right. Well, that is going to have to wrap up this video. Uh, oh, I'm not going to edit it too much just because I kind of want this up and add them as quickly as possible. <laughs> the good part of the last three or four days has literally been me editing those videos and getting them out as quickly as possible, as well as trying to unlock these dinosaurs as quickly as possible. Um, because, spoilers, our embargo date was actually three days time. Uh, so we should have had another three days to plan videos and content. Uh, but they were like, actually, we're going to shift it to this date because of such and such. So uh, it got shifted. And uh, unfortunately, I, I think a lot of creators have been, oh, God, we don't have enough time. And because this is actually a good game, you can't just speed run it in two seconds. So that plays to its strengths. But anyway, guys, hopefully you found that somewhat interesting. I I'm sure I've cut it up and made it, you know, that. And maybe I'll put in bonus clips of Baryonyx killing things. I don't know. Anyway, thanks again for all the support and we'll be back, of course, for a battle royale because I think I only need, uh, if we have a look at all the dinosaurs I've unlocked, it is literally just Nigerosaurus and Celiophysis and that is all I need and then we can do it and I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be so awesome. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and I can finally rest once I edit the video. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>